Tonight, the Grundy County School Board meets for the first time since the student was arrested. He says he was speaking up against administrators about the school's policy on valedictorians. Thanks for joining us. I'm Josh Rowe. I'm Kim Chapman. This video from Facebook shows Trevor Sanders' arrest that we told you about last week. Our John Madewell is live in Grundy County tonight. John, you have some major news for us tonight? Well, Kim and Josh, after all of this controversy, there will not be just one valedictorian for the class of 2018 here at Grundy County High School. There will be 11. And this happens because of the parents of the girl who had met all of the accomplishments and all the requirements, rather, to be the valedictorian in just three years. They wrote this letter and delivered it to the school board tonight. Then the vote happened. To the people of Grundy County, we drop the ball. This is the only way to fix it. I hope that we can move on from here. There's a lot of hateful things that have been said, and we need to correct this. And I hope that everybody can uh, look deep in their hearts, and uh, let's just move on and accept everybody. Grundy County School Board dealt with what one board member called the elephant in the room at the end of the meeting. The background, student Trevor Sanders criticized the board's policy, which allows students who graduate early to become valedictorian. One student who held the highest GPA and requirements to graduate as a senior fit that description. Her parents complained that Sanders was harassing her on Facebook and he was arrested. Sanders says he was only criticizing the policy. Well, tonight, the parents of the announcement valedictorian delivered this letter to the board. It suggested they consider all students with a 4.0 GPA or higher to be co-valedictorians. The board attorney defined the motion. I take Mr. Newsom's motion and the second that, that was received, that motion should actually be to, to waive the policy in the handbook uh, where we'll recognize one valedictorian and one salutatorian and to allow everyone with a 4.0 or higher grade point average be recognized as a, as a co valedictorian I'll agree with that. The board voted unanimously to change the handbook for this year. Students with a 4.0 or higher are valedictorians. Motion carried. Like I say, I've not got kids in the system right now, but, uh, you know, I just like for everything to be peaceful. So the class of 2018 will, in fact, have 11 valedictorians. I don't know any other school since has had that, but if that's what it takes to get everybody uh, satisfied, you know, I'm, I'm good with it. Well, to be clear, this vote was only a change to the 2018 handbook, not the policy. Now, the school board lawyer, Chuck Cagle, says that the board will have to revisit this issue for the incoming freshman class as it relates to the handbook. Now, Trevor Sanders was not here tonight, and we understand that was at the advice of his attorney. Reporting live from Grundy County High School, I'm John Madewell for News Channel 9. Now back to you. All right, John, thank you so much. We appreciate that. And he is set, scheduled to be back in court on 